So you are interested in breaking high ratings in WoW Arena. Trying to figure out what you need to practice or learn can be an overwhelming task. In this video, I'm going to go over the tools and the knowledge to go forward and improve your skills at this game and really start to understand what it is that you need as an individual to learn to get better at this game. Before I jump right into it, we need to get something straight, guys. Player versus player in WoW is completely balanced around 3v3 arenas. Three players versus three players, right? Not just one player, but three. Seems kind of simple, but we're playing World of Warcraft. An MMO, RPG, role-playing game. Our characters mean a lot to us. We've also made a bad habit of personalizing individual players instead of teams. Every top player you know of ever watched or even heard about got to where they are with a team they did not do that alone so choosing your partners is the most important decision you can make getting a friend or even your girlfriend to play this game in queue arenas with you might be a very difficult task because their mindset is just different than yours if you want to get a buddy into our arena send them an exciting match something you can remember got you excited <clears throat> my top five arena tournament moments is a pretty good video if uh if you needed a suggestion. As well. The nature's guardian is gonna proc from Talbotar. Everyone's so, so low. How are they still alive? There's the heals coming in from Channel, but it's not gonna be enough. I think he's gonna go down, he's at 20K. But even before you create your own team, you must first understand this. Improving at WoW Arena is equal to the time you put into queuing, your overall awareness to what's happening in game, and the quality of your practice sessions you have with your partners. Reading guides and watching videos and streams might be educational, but it will never ever replace the ladder grind. Many players feel like they queue for hours and hours and still do not improve. That's because without understanding the mistakes you're doing with your awareness, uh, you'll just continue to do the same things wrong over and over again. Without quality feedback from your teammates perspective, improving may just be impossible. Having awareness in game is key and often overlooked. Keeping track of your enemies' abilities and cooldowns can seem very overwhelming, but it's essential to improving. Add-ons like Plate Buffs, Gladius, or even Gladiator Losa, the audio add-on that people seem to either love or hate, um, can help notify you of what's occurring in the game. Having this knowledge can help you prevent damage instead of just using a big defensive cooldown to avoid dying. To practice your awareness, first you need to master your own class, key bindings, and cooldown rotation. If your damage rotation isn't muscle memory yet, keeping track of anything else in-game will be very difficult. I'll be making more videos later on talking about different abilities and things to look out for specifically, but in this video I'm going over the very vague basics. Good partners will give constructive criticism. Think of every mistake that you do as food stuck in your teeth. When someone tells you you got some shit sticking out of your teeth, it's embarrassing. But you would much rather have someone tell you now to prevent others from seeing shit in your teeth throughout the day, right? Someone tells you that you're deterrencing too late and the dots are going to kill you inside your own deterrence, finding out that your shit sucks, but you're probably going to deterrence at a high- Rating is the way we determine as players if someone is skilled or not. Having higher rating in this game can actually change the way someone might treat you in-game. Because of this and the way that we treat rating, we hold our rating precious to us. Uh, we climb the ladders and we hold on to the highest rating we've reached for dear life. Being too attached to your rating will prevent you from getting better though. Cue your main team always, at your highest rating, to ensure that you face the best opponents that you can learn from. If you get the opportunity to play with a higher rated player to boost your MMR, be open minded, admit to mistakes, you'll be running with weights on, but it's really good practice and try to utilize it. The absolute most important thing you need to remember when trying to improve at this game is remembering to have fucking fun, asshole. Simple concept, huh? You'll find more motivation doing something you enjoy. So get your warrior friend and cue Rhett Warrior Shaman until every KFC in the ladder farms you. But you may someday find a way to beat them right back. Communication is extremely important. Sharing information on your team, like what defenses you have available, uh, could be what determines whether or not your healer uses a big defensive cooldown like Spirit Link when you really need it. Communication isn't just important in the game, but after the game. Communicate with your team and come to an understanding after every loss to why you lost and address it. 
Rinse and repeat this sort of thing and you will improve and adapt every game. Now I know I'm not going over the very specifics and how to break 2400 rating and what comps and you need to play and what, how to spec and how to talent, but that would just be impossible to do for every class in this video. But I will be making more videos and stuff like that to address the more specific things. But in the meantime, try to find a player that runs the same spec in class as you and learn from them. I always highly recommend watching uh, high-end streams like Venruki, Snut, Sidu, Soda, Dilipu, and Generic. Uh, players like these have a very vast understanding for the game and really know how to look at their own gameplay objectively. You never want to watch a player that just can't seem to admit to any mistakes, no matter high or how high a rating they, they achieve. Ladder grinding does not mean that they're the best player in the world. If they're the highest rating, that doesn't mean they're the best player in the world. Look for players with consistency every season, not just right now. So, you are now playing a class you enjoy, with people who are open-minded and want to improve, and you're also playing often, and you have the ability to adapt and improve from each loss. And you're the master at your key bindings and have good awareness to what's happening in game. But you still want more advice on how to improve. This is my advice. Cue the fuck up.